Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a happy Tuesday, October 3rd. I lie, it's Tuesday, October 23rd to you. It's the day after my nine year anniversary of Day 9 TV. We're in a good mood, we're in good spirits. Today, we're gonna be playing Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. And this stream is sponsored by the wonderful folks over at GOG.com, which is part of CD Projekt, which by the way, uh, have the cyberpunk background just uh, to get myself hyped for cyberpunk. Either way, either way, coming back to this, I'm really happy that GOG's sponsoring this because I've used GOG for a really long time. GOG is where you can go to actually play this game, so I'm going to do a brief intro to GOG.com, and then we're going to play the shit out of Thronebreaker, which, according to the Galaxy Launcher, has an 85 on Metacritic, but that's actually a lie. I just checked five minutes ago. It has an 86. Oh, so good. So a little bit about uh, GOG. So I've been a longtime user of GOG.com, G-O-G.com, um, because they have a huge library of old games as well as new games that you can get. It's just a digital distribution platform. So you can go to the website, GOG.com. Here's all the ones that I've purchased there. You're, you're probably noticing many of the mostly walking titles. <laughs> I think I've used GOG since... 2014, 2013, 2012, I don't know, for a really, really long time. Uh, it's DRM free, which means that all these games you can get in the launcher, which is the GOG Galaxy launcher that I'm using right now, or you can go to the website and download it. Works totally great, DRM free, just download it. Yes, Anirius, I see you. I see you oogling at Ultima 7. This is a game that I really want to replay, but every time I install it, I'm reminded of how difficult it is to read this text, which is painful, which is a lot of pain. It's a lot of agony for me. Either way, if you go to the store page, this, as of today, is the platform where you can get Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. If you're curious how to get it, you shouldn't be because it's there. It's there. There is a, a link down below in my Twitch channel, or if you're watching on YouTube, there's a link below to go and to purchase it. Or once again, you can go to GOG.com or open your GOG Galaxy launcher and get it there. And once you've installed it, believe it or not, you hit the play button and then it plays. Isn't that clear? Isn't that great? Look at this. Look at this. A thing of beauty. Fantastissimo. So it's gonna load and we're gonna play. Uh, interestingly enough, Thronebreaker the Witcher Tales, I first heard about via my business partner Eric, hey, come on. who in his own words, this is his favorite genre, the CRPG plus card game. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Mm. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's what. Queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? I'm so glad there's subtitles. We toss down some cards. We toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you guys want an intro? This is the intro. Ugh. Ugh. You know, you know, I'm embarrassed to say, for someone who is as excited about Cyberpunk 2077 as I am, I've actually never played a Witcher game. Isn't that extraordinary? <laughs> Isn't that shameful? Isn't that agonizing? Isn't that painful? Either way. I'm gonna do a new game. You'll notice that it says continue. I loaded it up to make sure that everything worked proper on the encoder, and it's smooth as butter. Yeah, can you believe can you believe it? Dude, I'm gonna say 2017 was not a good year for me for doing anything but playing multiplayer games. I missed out on all all the <laughs> single player goodies. Either way, okay, so select difficulty. Adventurer. For players who want to sit back. Relax and enjoy the story with the option to skip battles. No. Bonebreaker. For players familiar with Gwent and ready to put their skills to the test. Not I. Battle hardened. Oh my god, look at the Goldilocks of choices we have right here. For players seeking a moderate challenge and an impactful story. Oh hell yes. Now, because I am under the presumption that I will be uh, making choices throughout this. Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I historically have been a little bit of a goody two-shoes in every single game. Every single game. Like, anytime I'm given options, I actually feel guilty 
if I'm not really kind to the imaginary characters. So I think... I think... I'm just gonna be an evil bastard this time. Choose a slot to start a new game? This one. Overwrite. Look at that, four hours ago, because I woke up at eight this morning. Eight! Impenetrable fog. Every turn, start turn, damage the highest unit, and it, oh, and it loads the too fast. 1267. War hung in the air, it sent power up. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yoruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, yes. forged alliances. And then, in good spirits, dispersed. As I do. Among them, me, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. You know the name? Uh-oh, I know I'm supposed to. Beauty extolled, justly so remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior. Someone needs to turn down these horses. Thank God for subtitles. Was I? Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Neve's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. But what'd she do? Caldwell oh my had God. clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers. Ooh. His neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm going, ooh, because... I really like CRPGs. You guys have heard me before. Uh, CRPG standing for the classic role-playing game. Classic rocket propelled grenade. Um, I really like CRPGs as sort of like spa day, right? You just sink into the world and indulge in it a little bit. And what I'm used to doing in these games is just reading. Like, a lot. Doing a lot of reading. And now it's being voice acted for me. Oh, how appropriate for a 2018 ADHD human. But this line, his neck was red and chafed from a rough starched stiff. <laughs> this, this is how I'm going to start describing if I've had a tough day. Dude, my neck is red and chafed from a rough starched stiff. Hail, your majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit attended fruitfully, I hope. Now. Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, mm -hmm, paper. Mm -hmm. Time hey, will tell of what value. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. How's the audio sounding, huh? How's the audio sounding? Is it good? Equilibrium was a little off. I've done some little bit of a adjustmentation. Just want to make sure it's... I just want to make sure it's absolutely perfect. That it's fantastic. It's good. Love it. God, it's, it's almost as though I do my job. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Cordialities tell me what's Caldwell. happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Sheer longing. <clears throat> Me bag Esquire says, is this only available on GOG? I think I know that it is available on GOG right now, and I didn't check anywhere else. So uh, I believe I believe as part of the sponsorship they did send a key over, but I'd already bought it, so <laughs> I bought it on GOG. So that's that's what I know. That's the information I have for you, Meat Bag Esquire. Uh, tell me what happened, I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to write out. Your grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the what is strays it? of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during your grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. <laughs> okay. Let's remember what we committed to do. I am a dick. Yes. Yes. All right. It's time to just hit him with the disappointing. I deliberated. Wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. <laughs> disappointing. We're ruthless, man. So my man. intuition said no. Yet Raynard interceded on your behalf. Raynard. Tempo Death Storm Raynard. <laughs> while the Count will have a host of men at arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. Gosh, yes! Oh my god, it's so good! All right, speak. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. Oh my god, I love that, be precise. I'm gonna start saying that for things that really don't matter. How's your steak? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks. 
until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeren. Oh, is it time to kill some bandits? Is to tutorial. Them as they slept. Mm. Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned <laughs> that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions, and ridden to Hawksburn. <laughs> I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. By the way, I, I really love, like, there, there's been a lot of games in the last, like, five, six years-ish that have done this style of, like, uh, it's not, like, 3D animated people who are doing, like, you know, weird idle animations or something like that. You know, it, it's, like, this sort of, like, uh, sort of 2D-ish, comic book-ish look. But it's really nice, just the extra, you know, dimensionality that is in these like it, you can actually see the rotation of the arm instead of just like the moving up and down um as well as just the the mouth movement it's very nice so the gold all of it oh my god uh, stolen your grace but i shall do all in my power to recover it this i vow if it be your grace's wish after weeks in the saddle your grace's wishes are modest a hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. Caldwell's, he's screwing up, I man. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Oh my god, I love, I love power tripping in ancient times. Like, there's some gold that's been stolen. <laughs> And they was just like, dude, make sure the porcelain's dusted, right? Very well. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. Oof. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule Oof. the entire Looks country. buttery. Oh. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Mm. Yes. And very little time. Mm. Welcome to the Thronebreaker tutorial. Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with basic game mechanics. Continue. You can control your character by using the left click. Follow the cobblestone road to reach the next stage of your journey. I don't know if you're of this opinion. I personally really like blunt-ass tutorialization. Like, you can control your character by clicking follow the cobblestone road. Like, I, I love that. I, I don't care for when they invent a, a, a ghost from the past that explains mechanics abstractly that I'm supposed to intuit. Just tell me what tell me what the button is, man. Tell me what the button is. And oh, left click, great. Ooh. Oh my god. Now see, I I'd seen Thronebreaker screenshots, but I had not seen this in action. This is like really nice. Just like subtle movement here, just a little shader displacement action. Oh yeah. Doom, 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 doom. You will expand your army throughout the game, but to do so you must collect the following types of resources. Gold, wood, and recruits. Oh my god, are we actually resource gathering? Mmm. Oh, oh <laughs> traffic man points out, you're supposed to be renegade, you should be have exclusively taking the dirt road. That's right, I'm gonna walk adjacent to the cobblestone path. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to thoroughly explore the map and complete side quests. Oh, oh, is this a side quest? Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, so... Oh my god, the banner's covering my resources? It sure is. It sure is, everyone. Let's go ahead. You know what? I'm gonna move this over here so we can see these. <laughs> and I can I can click on this thing. Ooh. All right, go to Hawksburn. All right, I'm, am I in Hawksburn? Is this it? Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told him where she buried her gold. Oh. Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Congratulations, you found a treasure map. I like treasure. I like treasure. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to welcome to Day Nine TV. Bitter return. <laughs> Congrats, you found a treasure map. Search the area, and you may just find the secret location marked on the map with an X. Very well. 
All right, so if I'm going to be investigating this, what is what is this little banner? Click and hold. Oh, this is recruits. This is wood. This is gold. Got it. Give me that wood. So what I'm going to do, is this the menu? Okay, I want to go to the options and see if in the gameplay I can actually increase the... Oh my god, if, if you click on that, it links to the privacy policy. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a way to actually increase the speed at which uh, I can right-click on things. doesn't look like it, so. Perfect blinks. This is no card game. This is a game. That's right. It's an RPG with card game mechanics. It's Eric's favorite genre. And this genre, I think, has like six games in history. Give me that wood. Alright, now, now the real question is, am I going to be going this way to Hawksburn? No. We're going to be backtracking to see if there's any more wood reserves here. Any wood? Wood, wood, wood? Wood, wood, wood? Okay, this this game clearly was not made for people that play games in the 90s. Ugh. Animation is so smooth. Yeah, dude, this is... I have heard the argument made that you can never just throw art at a gameplay problem and solve it that way, right? You can't just make a bland game pretty and feel like you've done it. Oh, wait. Where's my inventory? Do I have an inventory here? How do I look at this? Does she show me again? Uh, whatever. But I gotta say, like, if you have pretty art moving around, ooh. Ooh. Obstacle blocks pass. Remove it, you'll need to spend some of your resources. You got it, man. Alright, Your Majesty, it seems that someone's failed an oak tree, which now blocks the road. Unfortunately, our wagons cannot go around. How do you wish to proceed? Have loggers sort out the matter? Our soldiers should conserve their strength? Issue axes to the soldiers and put them to work. So this will. Minus gold, plus wood, 100%. Alright, I did not remember where the map was, but what do you know? Oh my god, we got Tempo Storm Reynard. Congratulations, you discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. Reynardo, do. This is mine. Alright, I'm just going to keep following the cobblestone road. Alright, every single part of the world. Most interactive objects are marked clearly on your map, but not all. Some events cannot be predicted, so you best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your indeed. Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line. The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, yeah, brandishing Meave. her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Get in there, Maeve. God, it's the, the precision. All right, show me how this game works, man. Maeve was convinced the bandits would flee to the cover of the forest upon realizing their grave mistake. After all, no ordinary bandit would dare attack the retinue of a queen. Yet the strays of Spala were of a different breed. They held nothing sacred. Oh, these are modifiers. I thought these were buttons at first. So, a key battle in Maeve's story. Or Meeve's story, excuse me. Unique cards may appear here in your hand or deck. Unique cards will appear in this battle. Start battle. This is the battlefield. You'll play your cards on the bottom half, and your opponent will play on the top. This is great, because I've I've actually never really played or even seen Gwent. It just kind of incidentally. I play a lot of card games, but, like, just incidentally, <laughs> for the same reason I haven't played uh, any of the Witcher games. <laughs> yeah, so I was a little concerned that I would have to actually know the rules in advance, but thank God. Cheers. This is the battlefield. You'll play your cards on the bottom half, and your opponent will play on the top. 
Units can be played on one of two rows, melee or range. Remember, the abilities of some cards may be different depending on the row you play them. Okay, so this is the melee row, this is the range row, got it. A standard battle can last for three rounds. The first to win two rounds wins the whole match. Players alternate their turns. During your turn, you can only play one card, but you can use any number of abilities. Ah. The player who goes first in the match is the same who initiated the battle. In this case, you encounter an ambush, so your opponent will have the first turn. Great! That's, they're just going to give me some content. This is perfect. Hey. Alright. Deploy. So Move one use. An outrage! An outrage! Alright. The strength of each unit you play adds to your army's total strength. Oh, so this is not the cost. Ah, okay, great. Great, great, great. The player whose army has the most strength points at the end of the round will be... will win the round. Ah. Some units have armor. Armor absorbs a certain amount of damage dealt to a unit. Your Makes grace, total sense to me. Wait. You must lead to begin the attack. I must lead. Most cards have an ability of some kind. To learn more about it, select the card and read its short description. Additional information will appear if you right-click on the card. Play any card. Count Caldwell. The Human Blitz. Deploy, play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Uh, deploy damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row. This is... Little boost self by five. I don't know what boost self by five means, but I'm just gonna. I like this. You know, I think I've told you once upon a time. Uh, it, I was playing a card game, board game. Can't remember what game it was. And I was trying to explain different strategies and stuff to one of my friends who never played before. And my old roommate comes up and goes, "Stop listening to Sean. Just do whatever the hell you want, and it'll be pretty fun. And you'll kind of figure things out as you go." So I like this. Just play anything. Count Caldwell. Get out there. Where do I want you to go? In the front. What? <laughs> this jay's took ten and run. <laughs> so when your turn, press the coin button. All right, end turn. So I, it basically like I play a card and do a thing. Yeah, yeah. Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. Your turn. Play any card. Okay. Uh, damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row. This says boost self. I can't tell which one is ranged and which one is not, so I'm just gonna this keep playing cards in the front. Salt of the earth, they are, your grace. They follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Sidemen have the loyal ability. This means that their other abilities are activated every time you use Meave's ability. Meave has abilities. Each leader has a unique ability to learn what it is. Just select the leader. Use ability allows her to boost a unit's strength and add armor to it. She can use this ability once every few turns. To use for a selector. Boom. And select one of your units. Oh my god, yes. Boost an ally. Alright, we're going to have to help this guy at some point. I shall teach you to okay, so boost crowd, is increase dogs. the attack damage. And armor is give it armor. Yes. You cannot make any more moves. It's time to end your turn. You got it. How do things fight each other? Look out! See Koba! We are bombarded! Your opponent's cards also have abilities. Be sure to read their descriptions carefully and adapt your strategy accordingly. So, so this thing, move one unit to the row opposite this unit and damage them by one. Okay. This is not Gwent. This is a modified version of Gwent. Oh, that's useful to know. But, like, I, I, I gotta be honest. Like, the, the way that card games function, and I'm not even talking about multiplayer card games. I mean, just like any game that uses cards as mechanic, I, it's, I love so much because you get these really chunky things to read about, and there's, like, all the board state and stuff. This is, this is one of the reasons why Eric loves games like this, is, you know, if you're in a single-player game, you can kind of disregard a lot of, like, the balance-type concerns, a lot of those experiential-type concerns, and just make really cool interactions that are fun to track through. So, like, I also see that I have not drawn anything. I assume that that's because these are the cards that I will have at the end of the round. So I'm just going to damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row. Alright, so I'm going to play this in the front, because why not? The front guy, why not? Yes! Our victory is assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! When you've played all your cards, the end turn button will turn into a pass button. When you pass, you will not be able to perform any actions until the start of your next turn. Get me out of here. Pass this on. Oh, I have to click and hold. Ah, mm, beautiful interface. Love that. 
I would misclick the shit out of that, as we are wont to do. The player whose army has the most strength points at the end of the round will win the round. In the event of a tie, both players will receive a victory point. Oh, it's a victory point based game. Ah, very German board game style. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. My dudes are huge. Battle formation! Protect the queen! The player who won the previous round will play first in the next round. You got it. Play any card. Putting Must this guy in the front for no reason. How? But these dumb boots are killing me. Oh, I'm gonna click this. End the turn. Boom. Bam, pow. The flam. Moving me back, I, I don't really know if that's good or if that's bad. I, I don't understand the difference between these two. I assume that there's ways to start being able to deal damage. Um, so I'm going to. A time to Do this. A time to sow. So, I mean, this says damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row. So, well, I, I think what I'm gleaning is that these dudes are good because they just are super huge. Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. Okay. So, if I put this guy here and then shoot like this. Okay, so I'm starting to see if I had put this uh, Lyrian Scytheman in the back row and then played the Lyrian Arbalist in the back row, then I think that it could have actually killed this guy. Oops, I forgot to use the ability. Guys, I forgot to do Either something in a card game. That's the first time this ever happened. One, two rounds, which means you're the battle's victor. I congratulate you on your okay. latest victory, so that was Greg. super basic. The bandit stood not a chance. Oh, I see it. Okay, so, so here's the things that I gleaned from this. First of all, this seemed like a highly non-interactive, um, well, not non-interactive, but this seemed like a highly rigged battle, right? I, I'm, I'm playing, like, these seven-strength dudes, and they're playing three-strength dudes, and I'm like, all right, it's very clear I'm going to win this game. Um, I think, like, at the very end, there were a few things there where it's, like, dealt damage to my armor, so the armor got reduced, so armor's a way of preventing me from losing the strength, which is the way that the victory is determined, but the armor doesn't contribute to that, so... I don't know what reach means. I'm really curious about that. Oh, Matt something just played, whatever. Gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Neve said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come. The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. By the way, it's Tuesday, and as you will recall, the gardeners who do the gardening in the apartment complex and all the leaf blowing start blowing leaves loudly on Tuesday. So in case you're wondering why it's... It's because we're currently having a... Uh, Vuvuzela at a soccer match outside the window. That's actually a... Oh, Jesus. That's actually a really interesting um, tutorial where it did not actually explain a lot of mechanics. Like, there was Reach on there. It had a number of other effects. All right, let's loot them. Ship that wood. Feels so good. Ah. Uh. I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, oh. the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, mm. Count. We shall mm. pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. To survey your army, you must first pitch a camp. By the way, I, I just have a real appreciation for the efficiency of this art style, where, like, this tree here is the same as this tree, is the same as this tree. They're just three of the same trees. And similarly, this tree here is the mirror image of this tree here, but this has a little bit of different lighting effect than this one. And it just looks super great. Uh... And PST says, the tutorial said you can right-click cards, maybe reach as explained in there. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sorry. What, what I meant to say is the tutorial is really interesting to me because, like, um, 
If you've ever played any really complex multiplayer game, like most multiplayer games are you don't own the game or you're sitting down and you're playing the full game. And the way that, you know, my friends at least explain to me and the way I explain things to people is like, just ignore it. Just here's the three things you need to know and do it. And this was interesting to me about that tutorial is it was like, here is the four things you need to know. You can read the other stuff on the card. And then it just kind of left me to my own devices, which I think is a really interesting way to make me not overwhelmed. Like, um, all the, I think the opposite end of the tutorial is like, I only tell you what you need to know so that you currently understand 100% of the words that I have spoken. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, that's right. Amps says uh, tutorials that explain every click. Pitch camp by pressing the tent button. This tent button under here. Oh, this, no, this button right here. That's green. Camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this, if this is in any way similar to Heroes of Might and Magic. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my, my childhood! Uh, uh, and by the way, since I literally cannot recommend GOG enough, I want to see if they actually have that game here. Type in Heroes. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Yes, they do! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! That's so great. All right, well, I guess, I guess I'm just not going to do that much this weekend. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's TwitchCon. Oh, wait, I'm going to TwitchCon, and I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot there. Okay, well, whatever. Camp buildings uh, allow you to expand your army and give access to important information. Most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give your access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. Enter the workshop. Which one's the workshop? Well, we're going to find out. Oh, that's the workshop. Oh, it hasn't been built yet. Here you can build and improve camp buildings. Oh my... Actually, little Bobby Tables is right. Oh my gog. Oh my gog. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and by the way, Tang Hamilton says, Ooh, I've not been paying attention. Is there a TwitchCon meetup? Yes, TwitchCon, 10 a.m. Sunday morning. 10 a.m. Sunday morning with a location that will be posted in discord.gg slash day9 TV. Sorry, I forgot the last part of my name. <laughs> uh, to improve your camp buildings, you must first collect the appropriate quantity of golden wood. For your journey, you'll definitely need access to a regional map, but to get it, you'll first need to improve your royal tent. Great. Upgrade the royal tent. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, that's expensive. Provides access to a map of your current region. Boo! Thanks to this improvement, you now have access to the regional map, which you can open from the main game screen. Okay. The workshop itself can also be improved. With each subsequent uh, improvement, you will gain access to new, stronger units. Go to the command tent to view your army. I don't want to go to the command tent. I want to go back to the workshop. Oh, that's... This is the command tent. So, workshop, command tent. Oh, I see. Left to right. Okay. I, I, I'm I gleaning. In the command tent, you can create units and build your army from available cards. Okay, so this is uh, the... This is the deck builder. This is sort of like the army constructor, right? Improving this building will increase your army's recruit cap, allowing you to use stronger units. What is a recruit cap? The cards in your deck are displayed on the left-hand side. Great. All cards available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on the main screen, so this is like my collection, I think. And I assume that it's green because it's in the deck. Okay, you can now... Gain access to new cards by upgrading your training grounds and workshop, as well as through story-related tasks. Okay, so I do stuff, and my collection improves, and I can build a better deck. Right. Grayed out cards are available, but have not been created. You must first create them before you can include them. Okay, your deck must contain a minimum of 25 cards, while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. Aha! Uh -huh. Currently, your recruit, cap recruit caps is at 125, so I assume there's certain power-level things... So if I look at this, this 96643, I assume this is the actual cost to include them. That seems like it adds up. Hand waving. To create new cards, you need particular resources. Recruits. You can gain recruits at conscription posts, which are marked on the map with a helmet icon, as well as through certain story-related tasks. Okay, 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 okay. So I think what I'm going to be doing is... <laughs> All my side quests are going to be gain more resources to get more cards. Ooh. You've received additional resources to craft a Wagenberg card. Craft one now. All right. Where is... Wagenberg. 
order. Damage all units on an enemy's row by this unit's armor amount. Then lose all armor. Gain one armor whenever. The card appears. So order, I assume, is an active ability. Uh, so I right-clicked it to open this up. This is kind of hilarious that this is obscuring this. Order, an ability triggered manually by the player. Whew, I'm so smart. Units with order cannot be used for one turn after being placed on the battlefield, whereas artifacts can be used immediately. Okay, so this is this is like the equivalent of some sort of summoning sickness. Um, absorbs given amount of damage, then is removed. Okay, so... Recruit. That's... Okay, so these prices are... Bead. Add a Wagenberg to your deck. Okay, so my assumption is that this will increase this by... Um, 15, because that's what this bottom right is. How do I add it? Oh, you, you left click, you left click once. You left click once, and it says it right here. I have not even looked at this. How embarrassing. Oh, last for a thousand bits says, hey, Sean, thanks for all the entertaining vids and positive attitude. I've been swamped by school, and your positivity helped me push through. Well, cheers, Lysor. Maybe I should just say laser, but either way, laser. Hope your school goes all right, man. Right now is uh, around that time of year when finals are starting to pop up around the corner, a lot of end of semester work. So I hope all you school folks are making sure you're getting good, nice, resting, relaxing time. Which means that if you're watching this video, you're probably killing it. You're crushing it right now. You keep, keep watching this. Keep watching this stream. You can now view and create cards or return to the main game screen to continue your journey color. Okay, so I see here. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to do some of these. So what are trophies? This is a Lyrian banner. Permanent resilience. When Meave uses her ability, reduce her cooldown by one order. Move to the other row. Okay. What are trinkets? Boost a unit by tens. Wow! Okay, so that's like... Okay, that, that just makes something super ripped. For like a turn. Reynard Odo. Give one charge to units with depleted order. Charge the number of times an order ability can be used. Oh. Okay. Deploy, trigger this ability when played. Great, great. Oh, this is such a sweet animated card. An ability triggered manually. Yeah, okay, okay. Got it. Oh, this is useful. <clears throat> Place a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Oh! Oh! So if I have a unit out, and, okay, so like, if I have a Wagenberg down... And then I play a Count Caldwell next to the Wagenberg. It will summon the other Wagenberg from my deck because I have two of them in there. I think. I'm not 100% on this, but I'm figuring it out. Okay. Order damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor amount. Then lose all armor. Gain one armor whenever a card appears on this row. Interesting. Okay. So this is like... This can blow stuff up. There was this... I think it was the Lyrian... Oops. Please, re-enter my deck. The Lyrian Arbalist uh, damage units by the number of cards in the row. There was like a Reach 2 thing that was listed out somewhere. One thing said Reach 2. This is Charge 1. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit back. Uh, and I'm not going to... Oh, it was the Scytheman. Okay. Scytheman, that's the one. So I'll have to uh, check out the Scytheman in a sec. I thought the Lyrian Scytheman was the one that just boosted itself when it came onto the field. You can now take a look at your other camp buildings to familiarize yourself with their functions, or you can return to the main game stream to continue your journey. Okay, so here is my inventory. Is this, like, my quest? So it looks like I can't do these. Oh, oh, because it's trying to tutorialize me. I got it. I got it. In the Royal Tent, you can view letters and maps you've received so far, as well as keys and card fragments. The Royal Tent screen can be accessed from the main game screen by pressing the knapsack icon. Okay, so these are like... Your Highness Artisans from Grabba... <laughs> Grabador. No, it's Gradabor. 
Your Highness, artisans from Gradabor have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I've included an engraving of the design. You will be pleased with it, I hope. A Cintrian lion inherited from King Coram I. Bared fangs offer stunning realism, and the ancestral sword of the Dalins of Temeria appears as if forged in the very depths of Mahakam. I have no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Gustave Perrault, royal steward. Letter from the king. Dear me, if you've my gratitude for attending the summit, what luck we did not put off meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies on the march are kicking up a veritable dust storm across the Yoruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional love, best wishes, Dad. Oh, uh, da damn event. Okay, okay. Reports. Ah, noted increase Nilfgaardian activity in foothills of Amel Mountain and near Rydbrun. Ambassador claims routine training exercises, number of troops, quality of equipment, indicate otherwise. Recommend strengthening border forces and tripling patrols along Yaruga. Strays of Spala. Bandit group. Formed after revolt in dungeons of Spala Castle. Oh, I see. So this is this is like my codex. This is like where I go to just absorb lore information and all that stuff. Okay, okay. Where's my maps? Where's Milka's map? Keys. Card fragments. Mm, back. What's this? The mess tent? Oh my god, we can talk to our buddies in the mess. Afflixion says it sounds so weird to hear Sean say names and terms from the Witcher series. Yeah, I'm, I'm behind, man. I'm behind, let me tell you. Mm. You talk with your companions in the mess tent. Give them a little bit of your time and you may learn a secret or two. Boop. A bit of respite, Raynard. A bit of respite, Raynard. Uh, <sighs> yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Raynard. At ease. Chill your shit, Raynard. Oh, Villem is not suited to be king. Is not we're Well, committed to douchery. Villem is not Alas, suited to be the king. I've come to fear Villem might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince is but 16 summers to him. Oh, he's 16 years old and we're criticizing him? Wow, you gotta, you gotta grow up fast, he's huh? He's fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. <laughs> Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances. Events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Raynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, I... we must hope and say as will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. All right. Yeah. As if Nabi forces. Those are some high expectations for a sixteen-year-old. No pressure. Let me tell you something. If sixteen-year-old Sean were put in charge of anything, anything, I would burst into tears. That's exactly what sixteen-year-old Sean would do. Period. Alas, I oh. harsh judge and is thus full. Yet I left the land. We might yet. Would that it was so. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I, I clicked it because I wanted to know if it just went through the same dialogue, and it does. It's not wearisome sitting Don't alone. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company, swapping tales with the innkeep even? Let me tell you something. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, Nah, <laughs> no, I like sitting alone. Sitting alone's awesome. Hey, Jolteon, good to see you, man. Hey, Jolteon, you, you gonna be a TwitchCon man? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. <laughs> most appreciate. But I prefer silence. Ah, yes. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? I dig it, Reynard, man. You're just, you're just chilling by yourself. Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. And delighted gloried in conversation. In delighted in it. And then I just met a lot of people, and I just became tired and sick of it all. Hey, Adrian, so what was what's it up? that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? Oh, my lord, I want to hear about this. I don't, but would gladly hear it. Yeah, let's hear about it, man. I had but 20 winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. Oof. By the way, 
took me so long to understand that this is pronounced lieutenant. Like, I know that we say lieutenant in modern English, but like, lieutenant in uh, old timiness, man. Like, to earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the king's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through. And yet elsewhere, he'd blundered like a schoolboy. Oh, yeah, no, listen, I'm, I'm going to go back and replay it so you guys can all hear Lieutenant. And, and I bring this up because uh, I was watching the TV show The Terror, and they kept saying this word, and I was like, what is that? And it's Lieutenant, but it's pronounced Lieutenant, so. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it seemed wise beyond my years. Oh, boy, who hasn't done that? Uh, the new original botched, blah, blah, blah. Original to air wasn't heard of or doomed to end badly. That I dare say. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Talk of that nature could only ever result in misfortune. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. The court martial hmm. took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. Whew. I was guilty of treason. Oh the my god! Me. But Reginald first stayed the execution. Then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Mm. Oh my god, old man Moto just said, hey, Sean, sad news, sad news, just radial fractured my left pinky and dislocated the knuckle. Ah! Ow! And so my, and so my gaming days, I trust you to keep me sane in the time period, Sean. I got you, old man Moto. Oh my god, dude. I am so paranoid about something happening to my fingers, because, like, the way I interact with the world is, like, through my hands, like, gaming and gesticulating wildly when I talk, coding, stuff like that. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. Ooh, nice little animations on here. By the way, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to say Lieutenant again. Don't you find it wearisome? Your concern, I most has it always been the quite the contrary. So what was it that that delight nearly cost? Me. I don't. I had but twenty winters behind me when See I see here, enlisted. Lieutenant. Yet I was granted the rank of Lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. To earn. There you have it. Talk of that. It was the court box, Regin. Indeed. It was then. And you know, thank you. All right. I must go. It's time hey. I intended to. All right, let's talk. Let's talk. Ooh, who's the Grey Rider? Who can we talk to in here? Just these guys? All right. Oh. Believe it or not, we've been playing for 43 minutes. Very well. A golden chest found. Uh. A uh, golden chest. All right. So I want to go to the workshop. What happens if I do this? Increase the number of trinkets may have been equipped to three. Whoa! Nest tent, what happens here? A place where you can share stories with your comrades? So this is locked. This is the command tent. What's this? Use scouts to mark the locations of treasure and resources on your regional map. Oh. Ooh, training grounds. What's this? Game between 20 cents. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is gonna this is the accelerant. This says game between 25 and 75 gold for every battle won. So it's gonna cost me a shitload? But if I just keep fighting things, it eventually pays for itself. Yeah? Yeah. Provides access to the training grounds that enables you to recruit new combat units. Lyrian Arbalist Plus? Okay. It's a better card. I like accelerators. Collision says normally I like accelerators. <laughs> the, the, the resident physicist. Uh, summon all copies of this unit. Interesting. Okay. 
and this one says gain one recruit after every battle won. I don't know if I want recruit more or gold more, but I'm going to go with gold because I... Camp structure requirement not met. Oh, I need a training grounds? Oh. Command tent. Uh, uh. Workshop two. Workshop one. Wait, where, where's the training grounds? I guess I just don't have that yet. Royal tent. Uh, training grounds. Oh, this is the main thing. I see. I see. Not enough resources, so I need 2,500. All right, I'm going to save up for that. Uh, also, this lets me just not make any decisions right now, which is great. So it's apparently the thing in the middle. Remember, you can open your map by clicking the compass rose icon on the left side of the screen. Oh, your primary task is marked with an exclamation mark. To see what awaits you next, scroll through the map. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. This is this is this is a large map. Okay, so I'm here. No, I'm here. This is where I started. All right, I got a ways to go. Oh, this reminds me so much of staring at Where's Waldo maps for hours. Alright, so... Pitch camp, I assume, is not any complex action. This is just like, go to this screen, huh? So, we can also go to the command tent. So this is, use scouts to mark the location of treasure and resources on your regional map. I'm just going to do this because I know I'm going to be a complete newbie and whiff on a ton of stuff. So if I if I hit my compassy thing, let me, let me just hit yes and see what happens. Whoa! Oh my god, that's actually kind of tight. All right, well. All right, it's the newbie button, huh? I pay taxes for to be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. <laughs> uh, Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, hmm. chaotic, a damn disgrace. Is this what I pay taxes for? I just want to keep having. <laughs> Is this what I pay taxes for? Why do I not yell that all the time? Like, get, hit a red light. Like, pfft, this is what I pay taxes for? Be precise. Alright, we're memeing our way forward. Your army's morale can change. Neutral morale has no impact on your cards. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm remembering the Heroes of Might and Magic days. Of units with high morale getting extra turns and stuff, and units with low morale just like freezing with fear. God, it sucked having undead in your army. But undead were the best! Oh my god, okay. High morale increases it by one point. Army's current level of morale is displayed in the icon in the upper left, so I think I'm neutral. Changes in morale depend on your choice throughout the game. To increase it, make an offering at a wayside shrine. But remember, after victorious battles, morale returns to neutral, so you must always keep an eye on it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I accidentally closed my window. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. So I uh, you just you just you just pray. Okay. So now we got the green triangle. Morale high. God's have mercy. Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! Can I just take a moment to appreciate that the pace at which the letters display as words are spoken is actually exactly synchronized. It's like exact. That's insane to me. That's ridiculous to me. Because that's one of the things that always ruined a lot of voice acting things for me before, is that I would just, like, read ahead in the subtitles. 
That's what makes watching Korean dramas difficult, because I've already read what they're about to react to. Ah! Anyways. Well, these travelers whose bodies now litter the roadside, they had the look of pilgrims who found misfortune after crossing paths with the strays of Spala. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot under the sun. They'd likely have known the stench would attract the attention flesh-hungry scavengers, thus exposing the next passersby to a horrific death. Clearly, this realization hadn't bothered them in the slightest. Okay. A trophy is a unique type of card. Uh, you can only have one in your deck at a time. Okay. Trophy will be automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fog in broad daylight, with the heat positively sweltering. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Holy cow, you're also covered in fog, which is just one of several row effects you will encounter. Okay. Row effects affect all cards on a given row and can have either positive or negative consequences. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Later on, you'll also gain access to cards that will allow you to add similar row effects. All right. Raymond, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such thing. Any such foglet. Okay, so this is no row effects. Every turn, on turn start, damage the highest unit on this row by two. Holy cow. Okay. Every turn, on turn start, damage... Okay. So this says, destroy the highest enemy, then boost all allies by that unit's power. This says, permanent resilience. Whenever uh, Meave uses her ability, reduce her cooldown by one. So I... So if I put this here, this cannot hit that because the reach is the distance in rows that you can target. Okay. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. And it was hard. All right. I'm going to do this. That feels pretty cool, huh? So now, now I'm literally walking straight into Voracious Al Ghul's Destructo These ability. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first, until, that is, they fill their guts. Okay. Seemed to become quite powerful then. Use 4 2 tonic to boost the strength of one of your units. But, like, why would I want to do that? Because this... Destroy the highest... Wait, wait, Oh, this is destroy the highest enemy then boost all allies. Is the highest, like, literally the, like, the horizontal row highest? I assumed it was, like, the power. Fierce and they look true. But they bleed just as we do. Onward! Slay the filth! All right, so let me. I want to do this uh, here. Should have listened to me, old lady. And I like. I'm hoping that the voracious Al Ghul like destroys this because I want to see what happens. Flex and Empress, have you played Gwent in the past? No, no, I've actually not even seen it. I've like seen maybe three screenshots. Ah, so fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. Trophy will stay on the battlefield between rounds because it has the resilience ability. Resilience. Oh, 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 oh. For some reason, I thought that resilience was this following card text. Permanent resilience is status that allows card to remain on the battle. End of the round restores its base power if boosted. Okay, so it just sort of resets. Okay, so we are going to. I'm going to play the Lyrian Sideman first. In the back. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Your Grace, get more come. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. 
All right, so this is gonna go here. Okay, so I can play this. This shoots that. This boosts this. I assume that at some point this is gonna get used. Wait, this is boost an ally and give it four armor. Why did this thing get boosted? Loyal. Trigger this ability automatically when your leader's ability is used. Oh my god, I understand words. Okay, I misunderstood some of these keywords. For some reason, I thought this said deploy boost self by five. My bad. Curses. Strong as steers they've grown. And they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive. Feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We, must. we can't win. Must minimize our losses. That's what I thought it would do, and I didn't understand why it wasn't using it. What's the cooldown on this? Using this ability to emulate destroy the strongest unit through it, just necrophages its feed, which made them much stronger. Front isn't going your way, you might be best to pass your turn and save your strength for the next round, but remember, you can pass only at the beginning of your turn before you've played any cards or used any abilities. Okay. Oh, I see. So if it goes like pass, pass, then the round finishes. Okay. Remember, losing just one round does not mean defeat. To win the battle, you must gain two victory points. I like victory point based things. Those stretchies were so good. Okay. Victory must be ours now. It we must shall not be. retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Give one charge to all units with depleted order. Yet another abomination. No, oh, that stench. My assaults. Where are my assaults? To successfully command your army, you should understand the synergies that exist between your cards. To get things started, play a Wagenberg on the melee row. The ability of this card becomes more powerful with each additional unit that is played on the same row after it. Okay, so I'm going to play this here. Cards that have order ability can be used to activate and manual at any time you choose during your turn, but only after enough time has passed since placing it on the battlefield. The icon at the bottom of the card will indicate when the ability is available to use. During your turn, you can activate any number of cards that have the order ability. Great. So these are just like active abilities, activated abilities on things, right? You can't use an activated ability the turn it comes out. Super common thing in all card games makes sense. Most can only be used once, but the order ability of some cards can be activated multiple times in battle. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so boost an ally. So I just want to do this. Why can't I do this? How do I know if it's still on cooldown? How do I still know if it's on cooldown? All right, can someone explain to me how uh, I know how many more turns this thing has till it's on cooldown, or till it's off cooldown? Excuse me. Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know right now. Cooldown 3 means 3 more turns until cooldown, I believe. That's its current. Oh, no, no, no. It has one more... Turn. I think, I think it's this. I think it's this. I think it's this. I think it's one more. And this is... This ZZZ is... Okay. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh, oh, it's this one! It's this! Here it is! Mamma Mia, it's your turn. Oh, and she takes her sword out, which means she's... Okay, play an Arbalest on the melee row uh, in order to take advantage of Wagenberg's ability, which adds one armor to the point. Okay. 
One bolt's all I need. I shoot this guy. Yes, I can. Use Wagenberg's ability. Bang. So I could have, I could have armored her up, armored this dude up, but that's fine. All right, so this guy's getting big. Reynard's ability allows you to reactivate units as order ability has already been used. So you can use Wagenberg's ability once again. Put Reynard on the melee row. Majesty knows what she's doing. Use its ability. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I so badly want to just add the armor here. Because if I can add the armor there, then I can deal two damage. Shoot this. Bzz. Nom, nom, nom. Your opponent has run out of cards. You have a sizable advantage. Your victory is assured. You can either pass your turn or play out your glorious triumph to the very end. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to shoot this, and then I'm going to boost this thing. Yeah, let's pass the turn. The beast hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. The X1 means you can activate the ability once. Ah, okay. Alright, I'm going to take some wood. I'm going to take some more... Oh, my beloved, please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. <laughs> John, please text me when you get home. I miss you so much. I know it's only been 22 minutes, but I just haven't heard from you. Please drive safely. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, though modest, will please the mother goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child that long last. I've no doubt you'll make a loving father. As husband, please be vigilant. Return to me soon. Forever yours, Frilke. Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. Oh my god. Okay, so there, there's an auto moderator. Um, there's an auto moderator that, like, in case someone is typing, like, really vulgar, foul stuff in chat, it, it gets... It gets auto block. And I get a little message saying, here's what was typed. Do you want to approve this? And, uh... The message typed was, John, please don't get murdered by bandits and eaten by necrophages. <laughs> and it blocked it. I don't even know what the trigger word was in that. That's so funny. All right, back. All right. Thank, thanks to the... Thanks to the... Oh. Wait. No, I hit the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. Thank God for scouts, huh? Yep. Give me this. All right, so 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 the world, the, the world, is ready to go. We got our tent loaded up. Uh, let's see here, command tent. It wants me to do stuff here, huh? Workshop, you want me to do stuff? Enables the construction of new camp structures. Cartographer's table, cartographer's table, and I can't do either of these, man. This is hard for me. I gotta go out. I gotta find more wood, huh? Oh my god, look at the little scout tower I built. It's right there. Isn't that nice? Okay, I want to go to the command tent. Loading deck. Okay, so is this... These are all the cards that I can actually make, right? So if I wanted more... Um, more Count Caldwells, I can only have one of those. Oh, I can make more Lyrian Arbalists. Can't make any more of these. Okay, so I, I probably don't really want to do anything until I've won a few more battles. Time to talk to the citizens. Many trees we felled, my lady. Might you have need of them? So, take whatever your heart desires. Oh, I actually took the wood first. They call themselves strays. 
Well, we'll treat them like strays. Ah! Build a bridge, brick by brick. A one, a two, the pillar grows thick. <laughs> Do we need no bandits here? Not surprising, neither, but we'd chase them off with our hatchets, we would. Can, can we once again just appreciate that this forest out here is constituted of, like, many of the exact same trees, and it just looks great? Can we appreciate that? Like, this tree, and this one, and this one, and this... No, I guess not this one, but this one, this one, these five are the same tree, but they're just shaded a little bit differently. Or it's, like, super effective. Isn't it great? Isn't it amazing? I had an artist buddy point that out to uh, to me when looking at a Hollow Knight, which is also an amazing game. That there's just like so many re reused but like slightly modified assets, and it's just super effective. Discovering signpost unlocks the ability to fast travel, allowing you to move between them at any time on your regional map. Sure you guys don't want to see me just wander around? Like a lot? Right. I missed that loot? Alright, going back. Going back. <laughs> Jeremiah says, why are you poking him? Why are you poking me? Aha. Aha! Give me that wood. How much do I need to make Workshop 2? I need 750 gold. 757. Here I go! Hawksburg. So this is where all the gold was stolen, huh? The masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. Is that bad? Talk to me again. Your Majesty, I beg of you, thrash them bandits, please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. To raise an hand against the Queen. These owls hold nothing sacred. Thank you for listening to this tired bag of bones. Folk haven't lent an ear to old Poppy in a long while. Please take this for the road. Oh my god, is it wood? Oh, it's gold. Oh, give me a break, old man. Milady, the masks they wear. All right. Have you seen them? Are we serious with this garbage? Like a right proper nightmare. Nice. Uh oh. Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. Soon. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Mm. Dude, I got okay, like, I gotta tell you something that is just driving me up the wall. I need to I need to take my phone and I need to now shine a light on the ground to find where the pen that I like to twiddle is hiding. There it is. Okay, thank God. Alright, well, everything's gonna be okay. Like, it, like, I'm a very fidgety dude, and if I don't have the correct pen to fiddle, like one that actually has like a good weight for both hands, I just, I go, I go insane. Because this is like mouse only, I don't need this keyboard hand, man. I can just stipulate, I can well. fiddle. Your Majesty, Count Caldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Mm. expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy ain't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Wow. Love it. Might it please your grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him, should have him jabbering right quick. Damn. It's just like, well, they had all their shit stolen, so what we've done is we've threatened to kill them. I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Uh, I think you had all the stuff stolen, old Who man. So. I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign. Her Majesty, 
Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. <laughs> this is how I'm going to be introduced at my TwitchCon meet and greet, by the way. Bow low for that guy you occasionally tune into. Day 9 of Oakland. <laughs> Have mercy, your grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. God, I just, I can't. This is too hard. I want to, uh, speak, tell me all now, or else. Area, the city. Ever been to the castle there? Nay, milady. And never ventured from his own, truth be told. Father still went, was, uh, was. It has a dungeon. And in that dungeon, I have a special cell I call Sessie. Now, Sessie's not much. A round ditch with an iron grate over its opening. But you see, Ceci is so narrow, so tight, that once inside her, you cannot move. Not turn, not crouch, not lift an arm. Oh Prisoners God. dropped in the bitch's embrace stand there for weeks in their own excrement until they lose their minds, or worms <laughs> eat them alive. Oh my God! Oh my god, it's so good! I didn't know the evil past was this evil! Oh my god, I just committed to being an abject monster! I'm sick! I'm a sick person! You've a choice to make. Tell me what I must know. Or live your days out with Ceci. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Have mercy, my lady. Nay, we'll tell all, all, everything. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. My. Wow. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Come on, where's Did my hound say? bound? Brown cow. <laughs> that recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to take a trip to Sessie. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady, I've no eye for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? The choices you make will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately, while others may take time. Choose carefully. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I have to leave him be. I can't. I literally I feel so guilty. I can't. Oh, my God. I'm not going to click this button. I'm not. I'm going to leave him be. Do I have to whip some sense into him? Oh my god, alright. <sighs> Committing to evil. Whip some sense into him. The crown's foes you sheltered. To confess your deeds you refused, and at the last, you dared beg mercy for bandits, proving you realize your crimes not in the least. So I must help you understand them. With some aid. A tightly braided whip. I'm a monster. Sergeant. Twenty lashes apiece to the men, half that number to the women. Curse me, lady! Take right, no! Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, <laughs> her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked God, up a cloud of dust. Horrible. The folk of Hawksburg oh spoke my of God. the visit long after, albeit <sighs> ever behind closed doors and in harsh tones. Did I do a bad? Oh my god. I feel I feel so sick. This is how you get a Mr. Blanky, man. Alright, well, I guess I'm evil today. I can't even believe... Oh my god, I don't want to look at it. Oh my god. I think this is actually just going to be animated indefinitely. Oh my god. You know what? I gotta, I'm going to leave this screen up. You guys watch this. I'm going to get some more coffee. This is horrible. I'm, I apologize to everyone. Wow, just look at it go, just the feeding going on.
hope it's not still going. I hope it's not. I hope it. Oh my god, it is literally indefinite. It's just there forever. It's just. Oh, what do we. Is this 15? Oh, okay, that was 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. This shit just keeps going. 22. Oh my god. I gotta get me out of here. Notice boards are a great source of information about what's happening in the area. Click on them will cause markers to appear on the regional map showing you areas to find places of interest. Oh, missed some loot. Oh, there's a golden chest. Point of interest. Point of interest. Puzzle. I like puzzles. I love that scouts. Let's just get out of town. Let's go with like 50 times. Puzzle? Murr? We need 750 wood. This upsets me too much. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just going to hard pivot to being a good what character. Is this, Bandits attacking royal tax collectors in broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, Your Grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. God, this is going to be hard for me to get through. Okay, Your Grace, to your subjects, humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilmer, they call themselves. Seems a wagon axle snap and the need to hurry to the market. What are your orders? Summon the camp overseers. Have them see what can be done. Excuse me. Let's do it. Boop. Maybe there's achievement for watching them get whipped a hundred times. Oh, that would be a hell of a thing, man. M does bring up the map. <gasps> Missing wood. All right. There it is. It's literally the same wood pile everywhere we go. Oh, there's a little despy cat jumping around. Alright. Yes. What's this? My queen, a stray of Spala, was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege on Hawksburn, then abandoned by his comrades' location. With their spoils, he's offered to share. That is, should we spare his life. Release him and get the spoils by a cur of his sort. I will not be bribed. Hang him. Oh, that's increase in morale. We're already at high morale. We can get we can get to neutral morale. All right, nice. Yeah, look at that. I'm here to min max as well. Let's see here. Where is this waterfall? Okay, so if I go to the my inventory here, and then I go to uh, bandit loot map. So there's a bridge with a waterfall, and it's going to be in there. Okay. Is there a bridge with a waterfall anywhere? Ha! Ah, right there. There, there, there it be. Okay. All right, continuing on. That rumble. What it's is it? a puzzle. Rock slide. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. In a flash, Reynard leapt for me, wrestling the queen from her saddle. Excuse me, resting the queen from her saddle. He had arrived a moment later. Me would have met her fate under a massive boulder. 
Alas, she was not yet free from danger. The es entire escapement had begun to collapse onto the road along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow upon the queen. Yet she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control. Destroy all boulders, puzzle, rules, shorten battle, custom deck, start. Puzzle battle. Destroyable boulders. Some battles are subject to special rule sets. Where strength alone is not enough to win, to be victorious, you must complete specific goals. On the exploration map, such battles are marked with a puzzle icon. Oh, oh card game puzzles. Yes, continue. In this particular puzzle battle, your goal is to destroy all the boulders before they reach Meave's row. There she is. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. All right, they're gonna walk me through it. Yes, yeah, so I play this. What now? You're far fewer than I presumed. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop, chop. Term Before expires. Move away. one row towards the opponent, then set timer to one. Yeah. So then we're gonna play this here. We're gonna I'm shoot this. So that's gonna go down to three. We're gonna end the turn. Deal damage to an enemy by the number of cards on this row. So this has three, so we play it here. And then we map our way through to kill this. Yeah. So then we end our turn. So this rolls forward, play another Arbalest and attack the boulder to Maeve. So now this, because there's five things in the row, oh, this deals five damage. The Use the wagon now! Now it has five, so now we can shoot this for five. Okay. Oh. Oh. Reynard, I thank you. Oh. Field medic the does the something, but collapsed. it loads too fast. The game loads the too fast. Is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's not we can do here. We ride on. Do 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 looting the countryside, trying to get to seven fifty gold. Woohoo! Yes. Oh my god, gimme those resources. We're almost at seven fifty, dude. I can feel it. Any more loot nearby I'm missing? Just, just a little little POI. Follow the cobblestone road. Hey everyone, I'm here to just get things with A whipped. peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man, gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods, who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied nee. the cartman. Twere a beast. Well, we better just whip that guy for the rest of his entire life, Out huh? to the east, down Gwetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Cletum was set in snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on Bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can, and will, replied the Queen. Though oh just my. looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. Gross. The queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see Wetterton. to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Harridan, grace. ooh, nice. We've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. 
magic formula. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Keeping everyone in line. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Good luck. Oh, ho, ho, getting those GOG achievements. Oh, my GOG. All right, let's let's go to the signpost. That's where I am. So, where? This is main quest. Well, got some notice boards. This map is so fun to look at. Any of you ever just draw maps as a kid, man? I was all about that. Okay, so w where... Uh, so I, I kind of want to go up here and get the treasure, but is this where the boneyard is? Was the boneyard to the north? <sighs> I'm pitching a camp so hard right now. Workshop. Workshop level two. Boop. Boop, boom. Increase Maeve's movement on the map by 25%. New support units. Okay, we're going back. We're going to the command tent. Okay, so forager. Restraint. What does this do? What does this even do? I don't have enough wood to do much of anything right now, but destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power. If it's an artifact, boost self by current power. Instead, restraint cannot target bosses. Ah. All right, crushing trap. Restraint can't target bosses. Deploy, set the power of each unit on this row to the average of all units' power, then destroy self. What? So, um, why would this be useful? The crushing trap is So the crushing trap actually has I don't think I understand why this would ever be good. Oh, it's a... Is it a trinket or a trophy? It's neither of those. What does this even mean? Spying. Status for a unit played on or moved to the opposite side. Okay, so spying. Status for a unit played on or moved to the opposite side of the battlefield. So, oh, it has... Four. Four power, is that right? What is this? Oh, that's the, the like, food. That's the supply cap cost, huh? Okay. So basically, if there's, like, a big dude and a little dude, I can even them out, which can help me squish one, I assume. Um, or if there's a way to, like, do rounding down that it sounds like it deals more damage... Okay, so what's the forager do? So this is used to destroy... So this can't be played on the enemy side of the battlefield. Also can't afford to do anything. <laughs> okay. I want more battles. Live and pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. Alright, maybe we'll do that. watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. There is ever time for prayer, hmm. even as war hmm. rages all around. All around us. Oh, there's so much war. Please to see ye yearn for the holy word, my lady. Oh, yes, my I'll lady. Keep in my hmm. prayers to the mother goddess. So I just exhaust Little people. Watches over. Just talk to her until money comes out. You just converse with them until just money starts spilling right out of them. 
That's basically how streaming works, huh? <laughs> All right, locked item. All right, so that's that's locked. Battle. I want so many more battles, man. Shmigeki says, once again, I waste a free sub on this clown. Sigh. That's, re that's really what our friendship is about, Adam. That's really what it is. You infrequently give me a Twitch Prime sub, and I occasionally interact with you in real life. That's, that's exactly how this relationship functions. Can I go this way? All right, time to talk to these people. Hello. Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Neve turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall. Your grace. Look at those the tears. Her brow darkened. Her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Uh oh. Kanak says, "Whoa, this is not at all like what I expected." Yeah, it's it's pretty, it's pretty dope. It reminds me a lot of uh, those old school games where you'd have like overworld RPG. And then there'd be an in battle system and mechanic, except this in battle system mechanic is stained card glass damage. shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Spala fell upon us, uh -huh. sighed the prioress. Stole uh -oh. the offerings, the monstrances, the holy books. My lady, I implore you, come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. Ew. Ew. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. Ooh, I'm ready to go to those thick hazel graves. I'm all in on that. Hey. Hey, welcome, new subby folk. Look at this. We got Oyster Josh, Lord Gravewish, Derak759, Joker1056. We got Hood52Cop with the 400 bit drop saying 400 bits randomly, so here you go. Let me just note two things to note before we instantly go battle things away. First thing, if any new subs are joining in, feel free to drop in the chat and just say, hey, best part. It's just being part of the Day Night TV community. The Day Nights are all such wonderful, great people. Look at the quality of this chat. Mmm. So good. Second thing I want to talk about, oh so briefly, starting in um, probably like second-ish week of November, we are doing another 30-day project. And if you're curious about what this is, um, if you've ever had some skill or task you've wanted to do, uh, the example I love to use is if you wanted to like, if you always wanted to like write a book and you're like interested in doing that. It's really hard to like look at some huge task and feel like you're actually doing it, working towards it, or even getting started on it can be overwhelming. That's the whole point of a 30 day project is you pick something that you can get done with in one month. So if you want to write a book, maybe it's just getting two chapters done. Maybe it's just writing 20,000 words. And in the 30 day project, you have weekly schedules for yourself. What you're gonna do on week one, week two, week three, week four, this sort of thing. Uh, and it can be anything from, I wanna get started on like a creative project, like writing a book or making a game prototype, something like that. Again, make sure it's very doable in one month. It can also be something like life improvement, like I'm going to focus on cleaning my apartment, doing laundry, doing chores on a regular schedule and get into that, right? Um, something that is honestly doable, very doable. But, and the goal is not to set some huge ambitious things like, I'm going to make an open world MMO on my own in one month, right? It's not about the bigness of the goal. It's about the ability for you to understand what you're able to accomplish on a weekly basis and have some simple, clean output at the end. We're going to have a website that is there to track all the projects that everyone's doing so that way you can have a way to just have like a little thing to fill out and stuff like that so people can like go and check out and read about other people's projects and stuff like that and we'll also have on our discord uh, conversational spots where people can go uh chat about uh what it is they're working on you know, you know motivation accountability that sort of thing we're all doing stuff together yeah, look, Todd is a great point. Says, I'm going to take a few courses and start learning JavaScript for my project. That's fantastic. You know, it might just be I'm going to follow through these 50 tutorial videos. 
And if I divide that by 4, okay, well, that 50 divided by 4 is a number, certainly. Uh, whatever that is, 12 and a half? Yeah, 12 and a half. Yeah, I'm going to do like 12 videos a week. Done. Stuff like that. It's all clear now. Sabotage. Sabotage. Just the bandits who weakened the walls. The good mother warned us. Give us more details. The good mother warned Okay, so where is that next event? So here's to a battle. Oh, actually, I'm going to disregard all these trials and tribulations, man. Give me that. Yep. Okay, so the bandits have weakened the walls. Things are falling into disarray over here. This art style is so nice. Where does this game come? The strays, oh. no doubt. They must be nearby. The way I would describe it is that if you, oh, dude, look at this dragon. Oh my god, this dragon's sick. Uh, I would compare this game to uh, if you've played any sort of classic RPGs. You know, where you have, like, sort of isometric battle system. There's, like, the out-of-battle world, and then there's the within-battle world. The out-of-battle world and a lot of classic RPGs are super world-building, super dialogue-heavy. This game's out-of-battle system is much more resourcey. Feels a little bit like a strategy game, honestly. I'm wandering around gathering up resources so that I can improve my cards and stuff. And there's, you know, some dialogue. Uh, and then the in-battle is, is uh, card gamey. Really interesting. I haven't played anything too similar to this in a long time. Fresh Rice says, I finished my first ever Twitch sub. Had to be day nine, been alert for years. Hey, cheers. One thing that sticks out in my memory is the Heartburn story. Regards a Scottish guy from Scotland. Oh, that was so good. Where I was having heartburn and thought that I'd been having a heart attack. <laughs> Okay, your majesty, the priestesses of Militili. Employed to leave an offering, whether goddess smiles upon those who bow before the altar. Harmony with the gods treasure deeply. Pay a little money to get some treasure, that seems good. Seems to be the priestess is not in middle, she'll gain most of my gold. Oh it's gonna give me some card it's a card shard. Yeah, it's a card shard! Oh yeah, I need to go over to here and click this thing, huh? The ravaged statues of the good mother, how dare they? The ravaged statues. The to ravaged, ravage, to ravage. The good mother, how I was dare saying this earlier on an episode of Mostly Walking, where I want to make a soundboard that's nothing but the phrases in games that get repeated when all dialogue is exhausted like this. The ravage, the ravage, the ravage, the ravage, the ravage. I want to just make a soundboard. Just make some beats out of it. To ravage, to ravage, to ravage. Okay, so we've sort of, like, wandered through here. We haven't gone through this northern gate. This appears to be a POI. So we can sort of loop around. It looks like this will unlock a shortcut point. I kind of want to explore that realm to the north, though. <laughs> want some rye? Of course you do. Going through the north walls. Oh my god. Woohoo! We did it. The three little fast travel posties. So I'm gonna go over to here and I'm gonna look. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Loot found. Congratulations, you discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game, Strays of Spala. And now I'm not going to go this way, because i got to see the undead stuff, dude. Silver Harlow, happy two years, man. Happy two years. Friends, this is, wait, does this have multiplayer? This, my understanding is that it is connected to the Gwent multiplayer card game that has been around for a while now. I just sort of incidentally <laughs> like 
I feel like in the modern day and age, there's literally such a huge volume of games that come out. Increasingly, my reason for having not played a game is just like, I just incidentally just haven't played that. That's about it. I just haven't really done it. Um, and so Gwent, I've not actually gotten the chance to play, but this is giving me cards to be able to use in Gwent. And the card game mechanics here, I understand, have some similarity. Some similarity. Um, to the Gwent card game, but it's not the exact card game. Your Majesty, turn back! There, something wicked lurks. Your Majesty, turn back! The dead as they rest, the dead as they rest, the dead as they rest, the dead as they rest are disturbed. Something digs up their graves, opens their tombs. Opens their tombs. Alright, well, here I go. Hello! Puzzle battle. Oh my god, that art is so Bekshinsky, man. Oh. oh! The sacred cemetery had once been an oasis of peace, a place of prayer, reflection, and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among exhumed graves, and human bones litter its grounds. The priestesses believed their beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form? What fate awaited Lyria and its people? To battle. All right. So what's what's gonna be here? So this is a little puzzle fight. Shortened battle. We can each enemy to one power. Deploy death wish damage all units on this row by four. Turn an ally from the battlefield to hand. Spawn two light infantry on the right. A human order move to the other row. Death wish. Damage random enemy. By five. Okay, so the war wagon can spawn two of these things. Um, okay. Damage unit in the row by the number of cards in this row. So, play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to summon these little light infantry, because when they die, they damage a random enemy by five. So this will go down to three. And then I'm going to have to play Arbalest in the back. I, on my second Arbalest can, like, drop this thing to, to one. I have no idea. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me try something. If I put this guy Can't here. Battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. So it's my turn again. So if I use this, he just like moves around. So if I scoot this guy in. What? Who dares? Oh, I can right click to see what's in my deck. Oh, there's only arbalests. Okay, how do we how do we reset this whole this whole thing? How do I how do I just completely restart? Do I hit escape? All right, so we can restart the fight. Oh thank God! Okay, I've never I've never abandoned a battle before. Now here's a question I have: uh, If I play Arbalest, this yeah, Lyrian Arbalest, okay, so I'm just gonna shoot a thing. And the turn. If I play Count Caldwell, and this thing Keep calm, gets summoned to the battlefield, oh, oh, I actually get to play it, so I can like play Arbalest. it right here and like shoot this thing. All right, all right. We are we are forfeiting and restarting. Come, Dania. We can each enemy to one power. Okay, so 
These are all at eight. I feel like a thing that I'm going to have to do... The war wagon's gonna have to get deployed. I don't think either which lane it is in matters Can't too particularly much. It just needs to be somewhere. And then I think I'm gonna have to arbalest both of these as is. So like if I arbalest this one. I don't even want to make eye contact with chat right now. Of course it would deal one damage. Restart. Okay. Okay, so. I think I play the war wagon here. You can try to win them all, but you won't. So I'm gonna end my turn, and then I think I need to play the Lyrian Arbalest to shoot I'm one of these guys. Sure. It's randomly gonna hurt one. Now I I feel like I'm gonna need to do a little bit of prayer here and just hope it doesn't shoot this one. I think I need to get lucky. I think I need to get lucky for this, because it seems like an important source of damage, isn't it? Hungry like a wolf I am. Hungry like a wolf I am. Okay, so let me just end the turn. Okay, return an ally from the battlefield to hand. So I can, like... Okay, so if I place this decoy here, the war wagon comes back. But I think I'm going to actually have to be returning this Lyrian Arbalest. So this, I'm going to have to deal 4 and 3 to. This 4 and 3, this 2... So if I place it here, well, if I if I do, does this just auto swap? Oh, so now I have to move this back here. So then I can play this for two, shoot this, and then I'm gonna play the arbalist at the front. So this deals three damage. play this Time big I dude here so that this can shoot this this can shoot this and then and then I'm gonna I'm gonna return this to the hand and then I'm gonna play this again yes Oh my god, I'm learning the rules! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Victory is ours! Guys, we did small number arithmetic, and we successfully... It only took us two hours, but we beat Thronebreaker. We beat it. We beat the whole game. It's done. Hope you enjoyed the show. Get this game on GOG. You can go to the store and how do you buy it? It's there. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get back to playing. I gotta get some more coffee. I ran out of coffee, so I had to make another pot. We did it swiftly, though. We're good. All right. As it turns out, corpses are made out of, wo of wood. A lot of wood in these corpses. So now this is, you actually had to be going for a second. Yeah, they gave him only 30 bucks. Milady, a monster has defiled one of the tombs, laid waste to sacred graves, bones litter the floor, and treasures enough to fill our coffers. A war is on your grace. Surely the dead have no need for it, right? What's dead is dead. Find a cart, load the riches. What's dead is dead. 
Take the cart, load the wretches, and become neutral. Look at this, we just, we're like straight neutral, man. We're just gonna pray a little bit, we'll be fine. I knew, I think there was a treasure up here somewhere. What? Chaotic neutral for life. I'm like such a goody two-shoes, man. Like, in my life, as is, I'm, like, a big believer in being ethical in unseen situations. Like, if I go to a restaurant, I try to, like, clean up a little before I leave, right? Make sure it's not as much trouble for the person that I'm never going to interact with who's going to clean the table. Like, I'm that sort of person. And so now, and I'm, like, in a game where I'm, like, desecrating graves, I can just, like, feel my heart being like, it's wrong, it's wrong, even though that man is long dead. Congratulations, you can use this avatar border in the Gwent multiplayer card game. Alright, I did this. I'm not I, I I don't believe in using fast travel, man. We never use fast travel, we just walk around. I hope that that's the way of the future. Our prayers have been answered. May the Mother Goddess watch over you. Your Majesty, you return. Your Majesty, your Majesty, your Majesty, your Majesty, your Majesty, your Majesty, you return. Our prayers have been answered. Have been answered. Where do I want to go? Do I want to just loop de loop back around? Yes. MVR CKPA says, do you feel positive or negative when you receive items for the multiplayer? Does getting those items make you feel more compelled to try it out? Uh, I would say, yeah. I mean, this game is, like, on a personal level, it's making me go, oh, is that how Gwent works? Right? Oh, okay. You know. It's creating a nice framing for things, which I think is just unbelievably clever. I mean, it's also, like, the, the game itself, I mean, thus far, I've been playing for two hours, and I've been having a blast, right? And if this was built, at least in part, to try to market for another game, right? Like, that's... Yeah, fantastic. If the way that you want to try to encourage me to experience your content is to make more content that's also good... Yeah, that's that seems fantastic. Great. Devious says, Thronebreaker was originally designed to be a part of Gwent, but it kept growing so large they had to make it standalone. Yeah, sounds great. Time heals all wounds, they say, that memories fade, that the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet eight years have passed since I left the world behind. Not but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed the child, had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness. Now I only pray for an end. May it come swiftly. That's sad, but I got a key, and I'm gonna send the scouts out to the map to show me where I can find money. Oh. Oh. Oh, 66 wood. Oh. Gold. Wood. Alright, let me see if I can actually build some structures. Do, 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 do. I can make a crushing trap or forger. See, I don't know what to think about destroy the unit to its right and boost self by its power. I don't have any things that have a death wish, do I? We are going to try out crushing trap, though. Crafto. Alright, field medic. Play a random ally from your graveyard. Wow, that's really sick. Rivian pikemen. Summon all copies of this unit. We have five Lyrian arbalests. Oh, there's no cap? Nice. A wire wagon. Spawn two light infantry on the right. Oh, that's right. These war wagons that summon two light infantry. But we're only drawing three cards per turn, so I think the forager's not actually a good choice. So, I mean, I want to I wanna put this in, but we're over our cap. Tell 
Take one of these out. So we're at 123? Cool. Saving deck. What else is here? What else do you want me to do, game? Alright. Why well, you got an exclamation mark, huh? What you doing? Alright, so... I completely forgot to do what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Verk shop. Mess tent, none of these can be upgraded. How much was this again? Oh god, like so nearly not enough. Increase Maeve's movement by 5, by 15! Yeah, training ground is going to be our next goal. We need 500 wood for that. All right, got it. Exit. All right, and there's like so much loot up around here, yeah. Hello. Hey, guys. The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar. The brigands had not posted sentries. Another Ten. round to the sisters! <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the queen could order the assault. Do you want me to order the assault? High time we put these strays on a leash, spat the queen. Spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered Boys, to the ground as the strays me. reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. Battle time! Yeah, hit me with them battles, man. Had the brigands chose to hide in the dense forest to station a guard, this battle might have never come to pass, and they might have slipped away with their prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence, or perhaps, perhaps the gods thirsty for vengeance on blasphemers had dulled their vigilance. Prevent three gold wagons for, from escaping. Stop the battle. To battle! Two arms. Yeah. Okay, at the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Whoa! What? Okay, this is this is gonna take take a bit. This is gonna take a bit. At the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the cards from your hand that you don't wish to play. Whoa! Everyone has high uh, morale. So we need to prevent the things from escaping. So I think I need the ones that do damage, right? Boost a unit by 10, summon all copies of this unit. So I'm gonna try to keep this. What? I think I really don't understand what just happened. Did I just put those cards away and keep all the ones I didn't want to keep? Oh my god, dude, I'm a moron. Yeah, I want to restart this whole fight. Okay, I didn't understand. Okay, so let me let me let me get something straight. Let me get something straight. I thought that this game was like three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards. And that's just the way the game works. Three cards around. But it turns out that you actually just have a giant hand of stuff. Okay, so what I want is... Not you, not you. I don't think these ones are important. I just want Arbalests. Destroy it. Deploy a random ally from your graveyard. Them. 
Where's my special rules here, huh? I'm just gonna play the war wagon. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Hmm. hmm. Gwent in Witcher 3 was ten cards for three rounds. Draw one if you won a round. Oh. Got a death wish? So, so where does it have my goals? Is it over here? Special print three gold wagons from escaping. Okay. I'm a monster. Oh crap! Trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Damn. Should have shot this thing. This has five armor, dude. I don't read. Oh my. Oh my lord. My favorite cut of lamb. The shank. So the power of each unit on this road to the average of all units power then destroy itself so I can't I can't destroy this right I have two turns okay so I can only play this on their side okay So I guess I'm gonna play the Lyrian Arbalist and like just shoot Lyria! one of these dudes like this or something. Yeah, because there was no way to actually kill that one in time. I bit the white of an eye from our full away. What is this doing? Three cards to the other row on their side and damage any units moved by two. So if I play this guy like right in the middle here, I can just destroy a ton of stuff. Time right? I taught you some respect. So this first one gets played here and shoots this to destroy. And then this next one gets played here to Give shoot and destroy this. Okay. I'm doing some stuff. Holy cow. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver or in blood. Order, move to the other row. What's this? This has nine armor. So, how the heck do I actually blast through this? So I'm going to move this puppy up here. So that way I get more Arbalist damage. Oh, you know, I should have gotten a wagon... Wagonberg. Because then this guy can... Oh, oh, and then I see... Oh my god, okay, okay. So, I'm realizing now that, like, if I move... If I were to put the wagon bird here, and then, like, move these light infantry through this... There's a horse thief. Marking unit after three turns on turns that switch its power with this unit's power. Who's, who, who is it targeted, though? Is the unit marked somewhere? Who knows? Ah, oh, there it is. There's the mark. I see it. I see it now. Ha! Yeah! Uh, and then I guess I end that turn. No time for that! So this is, I need to prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Have two turns, boost self by power of unit on the right, then move to the opponent's side. What? Oh my god. So if I click this, it just moves back like that. Okay. And then if I, like, click this, moves back like this. 
So I don't have any more room here, it appears. <laughs> okay, I'm just... We're just doing a lot... We're just hitting a lot of buttons at this point. We're, we're, we're essentially a glorified button presser. Oh, I should have done this, huh? See if he's had any coin in his pockets. Or his holes. So this is... This guy has a lot of shit. So these are all deploy things. And these are death wishy guys. Oh my god. I am seeing now the problem that we're having. So this I can I can boost this again, give it an armor. So this is 14 and 4 is 18, 18 and 8 is 26, 26 divided by 3 is 8. Well, it's 20, uh, 24 divided by 3 is 8, but I'm doing the round down. So I want to see if this is correct. Oh my god, super duper tight. Okay. Whew. Okay, so then because I've done that, I'm gonna... Yeah, become huge. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna shoot like this. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, so I literally did everything in like maybe as wrong of an order as I could have. Not been hauling so damn much. I think I actually need to completely restart this fight. Because I think I now understand what my buttons do. Oh, now I understand why that's important. Okay, do you want to forfeit? Oh my god, you bet your ass I want to forfeit. Okay. Okay. Okay, which ones do I not want? I think I definitely want the Wagenbergs, because those are really good. Field Medic seems pretty sick. I think these Loyalty Dudes, I don't want these three Loyalty Dudes. This plays all the dudes from my deck, so I only want... Deploy. S oh, no, 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 no. This is the one that I want the multiple of. So let me get out of here. This boost a unit by 10. We totally don't need. Okay, so I see now. So I'm going to play this over here. And I'm going to just start building up the power on my Wagenberg. Okay. Things forgot about passing to end around. This is a I'll one round match. Pouch. This is a shortened round, I think. No, this is just prevent three gold wagons from escaping. I'm focusing on the prevent three gold wagons from escaping thing. So I think that this one is actually, this fight is just win three times, or, or kill this thing three times, not to do the round thing. I think, I think, I think. So that's why I'm like constantly hurling a ton of stuff out. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf I am. Damage unit by five. It's on a row with fire. Damage all units by five. Okay. So this is on cooldown for a turn. Gotcha. All right, I'm getting a big Wagenberg. Got a death wish. Okay, so it's just still damaging it by five, which blows up all the armor. Shit. How does this work, man? So if I like do this. Oh, Lyrian lummoxes. I don't know, dude. I don't think I should be using this. You can the left the side of the screen so we can uh, read In card silver. text. Relay. Down here is where actual text gets played, so. Horse thief. Okay, so then if I get these light infantry the heck out of here. And don't have anything in the graveyard. I can just do this and blow up the horse thief. 
like immediately. Coin in his pocket. Okay, for three turns, do a switcheroni. So I can actually finally kill the plunder filled wagon. Oh, that's nice. Because I can Lyrian Arbalest over here to shoot the wagon for a bunch. And then this can just nuke this row for a bunch. Guys, we did a thing. We did a thing. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Ow. Oh, nice. The little dude that died. I really want this war wagon to die. Because then I can field medic to play a random ally from my graveyard. Because right now we just have a light infantryman. Is there a way to deal 5 damage to that? There is. So I can prevent another wagon from escaping. By just playing here and shooting this. So I'm going to end my turn. Alright, so that's 2 out of 3, right? 2 out of 3. There's another wagon. You might have got away had you not been hauling so damn much. This is the guy that has the death wish. Play the top blitz unit from your deck. Can I get this to four? Army's a waste of time for one like me. And I don't have any blitz units in my decks. Okay. Okay. This dude switches, which is like kind of okay. Oh crap. Oh, it's an order. Oh, herb derp der. Blur, 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 blur. Uh, I find this so. This is so different than like so many games I've played. So I'm gonna become powerful. And this guy's gonna steal, which is okay. Oh, that's right. It can only shoot once. Whoopsie doopsie. Holy cat. Oh my god. This is terrible news. Alright, why won't it let me pass? Because I haven't played a card yet. Alright, I'm a dumbass. Okay, so I'm thinking I, I might not actually be strong enough to win this. So, there's currently no wagons out. Crushing trap. Alright, I, I don't want to do anything, so I'm just going to pass my turn. Alright, so there's a plunder filled wagon. Alright, so this wagon bird has become more powerful. I need to somehow... Oh, shit. Alright. Okay. This battle will only last one round. Okay, so I have to figure out how to actually... So this one's important. War Wagon is important. These guys are absolutely useless. This is mostly useless. These field medics can be nice. Them. So I am going to play a war wagon first. Before the I'm wagon like bird. So we now need to prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Okay, so there's five totals. So we need to get three out of the five. Okay, so we need to end the turn. All right, there's our very, our very it first plunder filled wagon. The shank. Okay, so we can move these to another row eventually. So I think I want to do like this and move this down and move this down. 
Oh, he is gonna play another Looking straight up Spala and shoot that. Yeah, crap. So that was bad. But whatever. Who gives a damn, dude? Do you give a damn? I don't give a damn. And now everything's in the back row. Oh my god, okay, I'm, I do want to forfeit, yes. No, I, okay, I'm, I'm, sl I'm slowly learning. I'm slowly learning. I'm slowly learning. I'm slowly learning. Because I feel like my Loggenbergs are the only real source of damage outside of the Arbalests. So I gotta get this out, this out, this out. I don't want any of these guys that just get big. Play a copy man is great. Summon a lot of dudes man is great. This is a pretty damn nice hand. Well, we only have one Arbalest left in the deck. So I think what I want to do... Oh my god, I don't have my dude that can blow shit up. Ah, oh, shit. So I play this here. Again and again and again. Alright. So our opponent only has five gold carts. Stick him up. High as the clouds. Of now! course, Leaf, huh? Play the top one from the deck. Okay, so I'm just going to place this here. Ah, listened to me, old lady. I'm going to move this up here. And then I'm going to... Lyrian Arbalest Give this. I mean, that dies, but I, I feel like this doesn't matter. So what I need is... Th this card, I Got think, just wish. is going to go. Can't figure out, out a way to like deal with that. So I'm just gonna play my Arbalus here. Cause this this is just is just gonna go in a turn. My favorite cut of lamb. Okay. Shank. Regroup! Alright, so here's the two eight damage thingies. So this is getting has been wailed on by these two, but I think these are the only two strays of Spala that the opponent has. So if I buff this, okay, I think I see what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play the Riven Pikeman with uh, this. Not to reason why. Just get two of these puppies out. So now this thing is ready to deal three armor, and I don't think there's any more strays of Spala. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. Horse thief. That oh, is enough. okay. So this is gone in two turns. Um, so if I shoot this for five now, so I think I'm going to Lyrian Arbalest here to shoot the wagon once, and then I'm going to be able to get this pumped up to five damage or five armor next turn. So now that's one turn away. Thing about slings, well. Okay, so this has five because I'm a very lucky boy. This is an Arbalest. This is a Scytheman. Okay, so this needs to do like this. Bang. I need to save these to deal more damage or something like this. I think I need to get this Keep guy down, down and out. Something like this. Get my second Wagenberg. My deck does not actually feel that strong. I feel like I need some actual like Phoebe's deal damage to a dude. Or his own. Horse Feast. I think I also need those dudes that when they die... They deal five damage to a random enemy. So basically, here here is... So Paw Cakes is slightly confused. Here is my understanding of how I'm thinking through the situation here. So I have one goal. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Because we've played this through to the end, we now know that there are five plunder-filled wagons. So how do I kill five plunder-filled wagons? Well, it seems like there's really only a few things in my deck that actually deal direct damage. One is this Wagenberg that gains armor whenever things get played in this row. 
Um, so it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and then it can just like shoot off a whole row. The other thing that we can do is shoot with arbalists, but I think that we I've already I'm screwed up because I just don't have enough ways to deal damage because I don't draw any cards. So unless one of my dudes dies and I can field medic to get it back from the graveyard, I think I think we messed up, right? So I, I'm basically trying to figure out all the ways to actually deal damage, and I'm kind of deciding I just need more arbalists. So I think I might need to go back to camp. This guy needs to just get as big as possible. I don't think I can do it. I, I just don't... I don't have a way to actually deal more damage. So I'm screwed, right? Did this just... Does this affect armor? No. Yeah, so now... Now I'm completely screwed. So this card I have to let go. I actually just don't have enough things that deal damage, man. I need I need my stuff to die. I have no ability to deal damage. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the problem. If I can just get like five arbalists, I think that I need like five arbalist shots in a Wagenberg. Yeah. Okay. Alright. We can actually do this. We actually have enough damage in our deck. So we don't need this. We don't need this. Arbalists are good. These are universally bad. Definitely don't need this. That's good. That's another Arbalist. So we want the regular dirtlers out again first. And again and again. Give one charge to units. The one of two we'll play to order. In silver or in blood. So this is gonna get played later. So we should Wagenberg immediately. And we should immediately buff the Wagenberg. And then we should summon the dude in this row. This office will be reaping black So now we are slowly building up. So we let the first cart we just let through. I'll relieve right? you of that pouch. First cart we just let through. Field medic's kind of useless for us. May as well do this. Can I actually build up enough charge? I think so, right? Because I just move this banner up there eventually. But I want to wait because there's a dude. This there's another stray of Sparta that's gonna drop down. Stray Got of Spall, excuse wish. me. It's gonna deal damage to that, so I want to wait and then move this up. Uh, why, don't, why don't you play Wagenbug first so it builds more armor? Because he has two strays of Spala that come out and deal five damage. So that means that if this has armor. On it, it's just going to immediately get blown off. So I'm trying to figure out a way to safely equip up these initial Wagenbergs so, like, they don't die. And then so I do this and then nothing, I think. I think actually I can play a field medic here. What do you want? I don't know how many dudes can fit on a graveyard, but See if he's had any coin in his pockets or his owls. All right, so I think I I think I may have gotten one of them, but I think I I, I have screwed yeah, myself again cuz I think this row's getting too crowded. So here's like, here's us killing one. That's pretty cool. But like, if I can just infinitely deploy things, it's kind of bust out. Oh, thank God. Thank, thank everything. Holy crap. Yes, he moved things out of the way for me. 
Ugh, yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna deal five damage to this. Oh my god, we're doing it. This back row. Yes. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. Okay. So we do this, and we shoot this. And the turn. Oh my god, we, we've shot two out of three. We're doing it. Yes. That is okay. And now we're gonna do it. We just play the Arbalest here. This is actually so easy. Oh my god. AI, thank you. Thank you. No time for that. Oh, what? These you get more guys in there? Oh, thank God. Okay. And then I can play this. Knows what she's doing. And then this can nuke that. And then this can nuke... Alright, I shot, I shot all my shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I shot everything in that row. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh god, please don't have another wagon, man. Alright, I think I think we're actually still fine. I think we're actually still fine. What just happened? I was trying to click on this to shoot the ability. And instead what happened is I clicked on it and did uh shot everything in this row. We've done it though. What? I have to... Oh my god. I actually... You have to win the round, man. Fuck! Oh my god. Interface complaint time. I'm upset. Oh my god, that's so fucking annoying. Oh my god. The misclick of death. Alright. This is so bad. This is like a terrible pile of cards. Like, we actually can't win with these cards. Ours is not to reason why. I meant to play this guy. Shit. Alright, let me just. <laughs> yeah, I wanna forfeit. Oh my god, I, I'm in such agony about that. All right, no, we're 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 gonna beat we're gonna beat the fight. Okay, field medics and Lyrian sidemen are not needed, not needed, not needed. This thing has been useless. All right, I maybe did that a little too fast. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Is this game purely versus AI? Yeah, it's it's a it's an RPG basically. So I'm gonna heal this four. So and with that one armor, it won't die. And then I'm gonna play the war wagon, which is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, look at that. We're gonna end the turn. This this first plunder filled wagon. Nothing we can do about that. We are all in on Wagenbergs. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're actually going to play Count what? Man Face. Who dares? So this is actually going to go, I think, here or here? I think here is right. I only have one War Wagon? Oh my god, I am a moron. Alright, well, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna build up charge above. You might have got away had you not been falling so Regroup! Okay, so actually the loyalists matter more than I thought. Oh balls. Okay. I removed second war wagon for this trap. I'm like, I, I wanna forfeit and go right back to camp and set my deck up better. Because this trap sucks. And this tonic is actually so relevant. Eesh. I have one Arbalist. 
Is this a blitz card? Okay, so we do this. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Alright, so... Pass me those lovely there's two more turns for this, which is good. Myself. So, which one's targeted? Are these both targeting the war wagon? Alright, that's okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to play this, which will now deal Give 6 damage time. to this wagon. Boink. Uh, we're going to up this thing's armor to 4. So that way when we blow up this row, we actually kill things. And now what we are going to do is we are going to go... This lets me play the top one from the deck. Okay, I should have done that first. Whoopsie fucking dipsy. So we're going to do this and move these things back this way and like up like this. Oh my god. So we've only we've only killed one we got a job to do. Wagon. We have like nothing more that can even shoot things, man. All right, I got to I got to I'm going to forfeit. I'm going to load last checkpoint. All right. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right, I'm I'm pitching camp. Watch watch these moves, okay? Are you ready for these moves? You see this really cool crushing trap? Get the fuck out of my deck. <laughs> War wagon, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, man. I'm sorry. Leary and Sidemen are actually, like, super important. Do we have any other tonics? What kind of card is this? This is a... It's a trinket. I don't even think I want this in the deck, man. 25 minimum, though. Woo! Alright. Alright, I'm going in again. The bandit. The, the bandits. Or, order your force to attack the bandits. Okay. Start the battle. Yep, start the battle. Start the battle. Continue. Yeah, no, I've, I've learned this one the hard way. You don't gotta tell me twice. So summon all copies of this unit, so we definitely don't want the Loyalists, because we, we don't quite have a lot of ways to deal damage. War wagons are helpful, kind of. We need one of those. I think we, we chuck this guy back. Okay. So first things first. It's Wagenberg time. So we're going to just take the damage right now. That's what we're first going to do. Because a spawn of Sparta. Patch. Stray of Spala. Okay, so that's going to come down. So the next thing I think I want to do is War Wagon. Mm, no, I want to make sure that this lives without actually taking the most amount of damage. So we're going to do the Regiment. Left. Drummer. Right. Left. We're going to boost right. this. So now this is going to have just barely enough to survive the second Stray of Spala that's going to come down. After which we're going to just absolutely load up on a ton of shit. We also have mostly enough. Okay, so end turn. Got a death wish. There's the other one. Okay, so I think that what I wish to do is we can play this now. It doesn't really matter. I don't think there's any more ways to deal that damage. Let's just let's just spawn the two light infantry here. Can't take it anymore. So what we're eventually going to want to do is play Illyrian Arbalist on the left side here, because then when we wedge Count Caldwell in between the two, we get Illyrian Arbalist and we get a Wagenberg, which is good. And I'm leery of casting this right now because I don't want to peel the other Illyrian Arbalist out of the deck. I think that would be bad. So we're going to end the turn. All right, so one the gonna pass me, though. of we'll the wagons hearing. has made its oh, way away. This is okay. Kind of. Actually, fuck. 
So we're gonna do like this now. We're gonna play this. So this thing's this thing's getting built up. This is good. And then next turn, this monster. Is what this person is. Oh, I didn't. I didn't charge it. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, Despy, your dad, your father, your father, Despy. Okay, first charge this puppy up. Yep. Up, yep, yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, hey, what, what, what's the most number of things that can actually be in a lane? Is it ten? Is it ten things in a lane? What's the most number of things that can be in a lane? I need to know this, because I want to know if I can move the Lyrian banner up and then play a tenth thing. What's the most number? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I play an Arbalest here, this will deal nine. Nine is the limit? Oh my god, are you serious? Who likes that number? What a terrible number. I can't even believe that they would do any mechanic in the game based on the worst number this ever existed. Nine. Oh my god. So I can deal nine damage to the... Oh, that's such malarkey. All right, well, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna shoot this, bank, And then we're actually gonna nuke the row. Oh, we're also doing tummy time. All right, we're ending the turn. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. Okay, so I can move one of these little dudes down, and then I can Caldwell and start building charges, but then we actually have to nail it on every turn, right? I think I'll move this out of the way. We certainly move this down. And then I think we, we we gotta count Caldwell like right here. If you insist. Oh no 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 no! How do you control Z? Oh crap 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 crap! Oh how do you go back? How do you go back? How do you undo? How do you how do you take him back? Oh my God no! <laughs> All right whatever we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna put this here. Abolition, right. your command. It's fine. Back. Back. Pairs late. Again. So this is at six, so then next turn I can buff this and I'm still okay. Alright, we're alright, we're alright, we're alright. We're not throwing, we're not throwing. Don't, don't, you, that. don't you dare use that nasty word. Not with me, sir. I'm going to click this gently one time. We must trust each other. You can just do this repeatedly? No, 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 of course not, because this Reynard Odo. Reynard Odo is here. It's Reynard Odo. I forgot about Reynard Odo. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, we're, we're doing it. We are succeeding. Reynard Odo. Yes. Yeah, flip it. I don't care. No. It's all clogged. Oh, thank God. You get the hell out of here. Okay. So, okay, get ready. No, 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 no. Don't get ready. Don't get ready. Okay, wait. This is please here. Die. 
I can't actually play any of this nonsense, man. I, I got no room. I got no room for nothing. We're doing it. Oh, yes. Reynardo. Do. Reynardo. Do. Fuck. Laria! I can't believe this is going to take me this long to do, but I gently clicked one time. Alright, that's it. That's all I got. I have, I don't even have any more space for any other nonsense. Can't even do any of this nonsense. Alright, that was, that, was, that was a fantastic and satisfying turn. Uh, yeah, no, I think, I think... What do I do? All right, I did it. <laughs> you, you have to cast one every turn. I have to let it blow up. We did it. We're doing it. It actually would not let you pass until you click the card to kill it. Whoo! Oh my god, the yes. Oh. The bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, reliquaries lined with mother of pearl, gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, your grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet. Reynard opined. <laughs> so much louder than everything else. And who's to say which prayer or coin would be more useful? I mean, where did the treasure Our be returned? The, now the queen said, after a pause. Yet this can't justify a lapse in principles. No, we must defend them all the more. Come on. We've ordered Come everything here. returned to the priestesses, all of it, down to the last golden. That must have been Moved a the really good. Gesture, some of the novitiates joined oh, these ranks, aiming to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Richer in spirit. Card acquired. Field medic. This card has been added to your armory. And look, he's sitting there. He's like, oh, why didn't we keep the gold? <laughs> His palm facing the sky. Why? Oh, at least I get some loot, huh? La la la. I take the loot. My dearest strays, once you've relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Words got round he's raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not so comely daughter but can love truly be built upon a mound of coin i think not let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage shall we your duke of dogs earl of mutts high king of huckleberries his trampy highness his sparky lordship dash g all right let me talk to this bastard hello sure you can bind a rabid dog tie his four legs together but you'll not stop him from lashing oh. out and biting. What's going on? Yeah. Want to smell dad? Yeah, just take a puff. I'm sorry. I, I, I aspirated a little hard on that pee. This is my cat. You best do as I. But you'll Wait, not find the spot. Duke of Dogs near as easy prey. Oh, no. Which cat? This is Despy. You can tell because she's gray and Sheriff is brown. Yeah, she's a little gray cat. Uh, the biggest telltale sign is this little mask she has. His little white face. This little white mask she has. Hi. Yeah, you don't like being held at all. Sure, you can bind a rabid dog. Ta Ah, I'm yep, cool and awesome you know. like a dog. All right, we literally beat the the hardest puzzle in the entire game. We're like powerful, pretty incredible. Give me wood or give me death. We're saving 750 wood, man. 
It's gonna let us upgrade the workshop. Hello. Hello. Fast travel point. Excellent. I propose this. Am I graybound colorblind? I think yes. I think so. Uh oh. Some people got turned into zombies. Your Majesty, the strays of Spalia. I don't know how it is so hard for me to see to say strays of Spala. It's so difficult. I I just have been given it a different reading every single time. Strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. Witnesses claim folk had refused the brigands' aid. Who the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? Yep. Bury them all. All right, listen. We're going to be a good queen who just acted out at one point and accidentally lashed a guy forever. And I feel so bad about that. Can't even get over it. Oh. All right. Listen to me. I need to use the restroom. <laughs>